So I've never heard of this brand before. I can't find anything about it online, but it's like so well made. Like, look at that leather. It ha the hardware is amazing. That's cute. What is that? I've never heard of it. I don't know, but it looks sick though. Like, it's look at the inside. Shirt, like that leather. Oh, wow. No, I just really like the way it stands out with the blue and the pink. Oh, sick. Never heard of it though. Feels like it. Are... Hi guys, here's kind of cool. Faux, but cool. We're not getting it though. Nada. Miss Philly, welcome back to the channel. We've been thrifting with Daniel. <laughs> um, doing a little dealio. Yeah. Doing a little dealio with someone. Um, okay, today has been a little bit slow, but we did pick up a few things. Nothing too crazy. It's been slow the last few days, but we picked up ah, Versace sunglasses. These are Gianni Versace, made in Italy. I love the side. Look at that side, guys model it was fifty dollars and we yeah i had to pay full price because i had an exchange the michael kors bag it was like all toe up from the flow up and i didn't pay no fifty dollars for no toe up michael kors bag okay i actually like the shape of these these are this kind of shape works well for people with round shape almond shape um a lot of shapes for faces so like even this looks good on on me in my opinion <laughs> but like look look you see the medusa head there Super cute, blacked out, love it. Um, I see these online selling for 200 to 250. So I have a case for these too. A really nice, a sturdy case for it. So that will be nicely paired together. In terms of scr scratches, I don't see any. Like I don't see any scratches on it. But I mean, let's just say there's small, small ones, but I, I don't see any. <laughs> and then we picked up Apple keyboard. Normally, I mean, I have literally four or three of these guys, but they've just been pricing them so good that I had to pick it up. Had to pick it up. <laughs> so Bluetooth, wireless, um, probably a few generations ago, but still works incredibly well. I always open it up to make sure there's no like corrosion, erosion, corrosion. Someone corrected me, corrosion. <laughs> Um, great condition too. So um, we'll sell this for like 50. And then the last thing, I didn't really want to pick this up, but purses has been, have been very, very dry. And this was at the worst thrift store in Canada, guys. But I picked it up because it is in brand new. Like there's no wear. I'm pretty sure it's in brand new condition. Because um, usually when you see these, there's like scuffing on the hardware. There's only minor ones here. Other than that, there's like no corner wear, no wear on the bag. The bag is still fairly um, fairly stiff. So we picked it up for 30 bucks. Yay, Daniel's back. My life is complete. I wonder if we heard that. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> New ladies rack rolled over in front of me. Nothing. 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 Not even one thing on. That's remotely decent. It is an outlet from 2013, but it's still like in mint condition. El minto condicione. And I'm getting a message right now from a friend in Toronto, North York. That's Toronto, I think. Hi, friends in Toronto. So I need to message her and see what she wants. Those Ontarians or whatever you want. What's their, what's their nickname? Ontarians? Shut up, Daniel. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Here. It's called Victor. Oh yeah, I've seen that tag before. Yeah. It's fifty dollars. It's a lot of money. See, maybe. The rest of it, nothing crazy. Hide it for. Yeah, yeah good <laughs> luck. It'll take forever. For, it would... I was gonna get this Kate Spade, I like but that. I don't know. It's, it's so like, good. Yeah, but it's not gonna sell because it's gold. Yes. Twelve bucks. Okay, I'll buy it. <laughs> no. It's like peeling in certain places, sure. like here, see, like it's not shiny anymore. Yeah. It's not that noticeable though, but. You're gonna take my find. You, uh, I don't want them. You colonizer. <laughs> Okay. 
and there's nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. Uh, we came out today with three things. Was it three things? The Versace sunglasses, the coach bag, and the Apple keyboard. Again, we put in about 10, 9.30. Five hours of work today to come out with three items. <laughs> so that's the name of the game sometimes uh, when you're self-employed and you're a reseller thrifter. Sometimes you're going to find things. Sometimes you're not going to find things. But in the end, it all works out. All works out. Daniel's still inside. He he didn't find that many things today. So usually, the back seat is packed full of his shit. But today it wasn't. It wasn't popping today. And usually Thursdays are my favorite and his favorite day to thrift. So ah, that's it. That is all. That is all. That is all. Anyway, yesterday before I was cut off, I wanted to say that I'm like I've been obsessed with Golden Girls. I remember being like a little kid and watching it at my godmother's house and um yeah like actual in real time when it was airing on tv so it's nice to like it's nice to rewatch it because it has so much sexual innuendo that probably went over my head when i was a kid but now i'm like literally understanding it and there's like a lot of like things that they say that today would be offensive <laughs> um but yeah so But whatevs. I think two people just walked out stealing. I'm in front of Valley Village, by the way. <laughs> You're probably going to see the... No, they're not. They're crossing the road. Yeah, they don't look like they paid. I'm sorry. Not to, like, profile people based on appearance, but... They look like they're in a hurry to go and leave. Anyway. <laughs> That's one big problem at the thrift stores. People just go in and steal. And then the workers don't do anything because why are they going to do anything? You know, because why are you going to put your life at risk for a job that pays you, what, $15 an hour? $16 an hour? Why are you going to risk your livelihood for that? <sighs> Anyway, yeah, so I was talking about Golden Girls. I love Golden Girls. Even love it more. Love it even more now as an adult. Um, my favorite character is probably, you would think it would be Blanche, but it's actually Dorothy. I don't know why. Dorothy's just like angry and bitter and a bitch. And that's how I feel about me, myself. As, a, as um, old, the older I get, I feel like I'm just angry, bitter, and a bitch. But what you gonna do? What? you're going to do. Um, it's like not even winter here. It's been, it's been like seven degrees, five degrees Celsius, which is like, I think that's like 25 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. Um, or 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which to us is good because it's not cold cold it's cold but it's not cold cold like look there's this freaking guy out like in a t-shirt and it's wintered in december <laughs> that's how that's how we are here where we live when it's like this it feels like it's spring like look at the manager he's outside in just like a long sleeve no jacket um but yeah I don't know. It's supposed to be nice for the next few days. And then, I don't know. I can't see too, too far. I can only see like two weeks. But it looks like it's going to be nice for a while. So that's good. But I'm sure we'll get... I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So who knows if that's going to stick around. I've been waiting to sell my um, skidoos. But the non-motor ones that I thrifted and got at a garage sale. But I haven't been able to post them. Because we don't have any snow to use them on. So... I really hope tomorrow's better thrifting. I mean, purses have been so freaking dry, guys. Drier than a nuns of a JJ. This is literally all that we got. Apple. Sunglasses. And a coach bag. That's all we got. This is all we got today. 
This is what we got today. <laughs> Lamer McLamerton. If you factor in your time, the gas I spent driving all over the city, and the food that I ate, literally, is it even worth it for this? I mean, it is for the sunglasses. I feel like the sunglasses I can get 200 for based on what the others are selling for online. The cheapest that I saw this for was like 250. So to sell mine for 200, I feel like is a deal. And it's like minty, minty, mint, mint. Okay, let's see it one more time. <gasps> you saw my eyes, guys. You saw my eyes. <laughs> Heller, and you have to wear your hair up. Well, I'm not. I'm gonna look like a freaking sumo wrestler. There. Speaking of pop culture, did you guys know that Brenda Lee is the oldest person to have a Hot 100 single on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart? Rocking around the Christmas tree went number one. Mariah, you know Mariah's gonna go number one next week anyway, so might as well give it to her. I don't have anything bad to say about Brenda Lee, but I mean, I'm trying to take Mariah's number one position. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm biased. Mariah's my favorite pop diva of all time, so. I am biased in that sense. But it's nice to spread the wealth a little bit. All I Want for Christmas is You has spent 14 weeks at number one over the years, collectively. So it will eventually be the longest number one single of all time. Because the number one single of all time is Lil Nas X with Old Town Road spent, I think, 19 weeks at number one. Mariah Carey held the record for a long... I don't know why I know this information, guys. It's just I told you in so many videos, I've immersed myself in pop culture when I was younger. Um, Mariah Carey held the record for the longest number one single of all time with One Sweet Day, 14, no, 16 weeks at number one from 95 to 96 with Boys to Men. They held that record until Lil Nas X, actually, yeah, Lil Nas X uh, broke the record. No, first Justin Bieber and those Spanish guys, Despacito, tied her, tied, I believe, yeah, from my understanding, yeah. And then for the longest time before that, um, Mariah Carey held the number one and the number two spot for the longest number sing number one singles on the Hot 100. So she held it for, I think it, she held that record from like 2005 until, I don't know, late 2010s, mid 2010s. Cause she was number one with One Sweet Day with Boys to Men, 16 weeks at number one. Then she was at number two with We Belong Together that spent 14 weeks at number one, but it was also tied with Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You, spent uh, 14 weeks at number one, and Boys to Men Again um, with uh, I'll Make Love to You, and that was also 14 weeks at number one. So, yeah. All I Want for Christmas is You will be longer number one than Lil Nas X Old Town Road. It only needs to be number one for five more weeks, and then it'll tie, and then six more weeks to be the longest number one single of all time. Um, you know what Christmas song I want to see go number one? Is NSYNC, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. That song always makes me happy. I remember in 98 when it first came out, I remember seeing it on Much Music and it made me happy. And every time I hear it uh, hear it on the radio, it makes me so happy. Like it makes me in the, in the, in the spirit, Christmas spirit. In my crib. Welcome to Okay. Storage Wars Cribs. <laughs> we have like a fake live auction going on. This is where I'm gonna live when I become homeless because I can't sell anything. Nobody's buying anything. So this is where we're gonna live. Dun, 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 dun. Guess whose side is who? <laughs> So that's my the, corner. This is the middle right here. And I'm sort of uh, taking over. Daniel's practice. encroaching on my space. Yeah, show him the mound, how big it is. It's taller than me. It's like two of me. Look I have to that. climb up there with a ladder. All of our shit. Oh, why hasn't anybody bought this yet? It's so amazing. It's so nice. I got a lot of saves on it. But... Look how tall it is up there. Put your flash on. It's insane. That, see the ground that's taller than you. <laughs> why haven't you sold that thing? Oh, it's Easter? Yeah, I'm playing that for Ew, you still have this? That's I never, like I never posted. That's like from a year and a half ago, Daniel. <laughs> that's from a year and a half ago. He hasn't even sold that yet. Oh my god. 
all these shirts. <laughs> how much? You, leave in the comment how much is this in inventory? Like, if he sold everything for what he wants. <laughs> no, I get. I would guess this to be at least forty thousand dollars, and I'm being low on estimation. Take a pic you can include of just the mound. The thing is, literally twice, I have to use a ladder to get there. I have to pull everything out to even get in this pile. So there's a time where they want things from the bottom. Well, guess how much time this takes me to even get I have my tires in here, so at least that's okay. You have your Ooh, is there bubble wrap in here? Ooh, there is. I'm taking this. You didn't, you didn't even post your yellow table this summer. Yeah, I have to. Someone's coming to pick up these damn giraffes because. <laughs> I paid $60 for them and I'm selling them for $80. That is so, that's not even worth my time. <laughs> so cheap. We need to get you some more stuff to keep in here. That's a long head. Um, there's supposed to be four. I need a head and a base for the baby. A base? Yeah. There's a base? Yeah, like one of these circle things. Okay. El Familia. I just need a base and a head. Daniel, give me the head. I need the head, Daniel. Head. Head now! Where's this base? It should be where, the, where you found the little baby one. It is. It is. Put it on. Ah, there we go. Do you need a light? I got one. Maybe it's under your tires. No. Could be. Ouch! I'm looking here. It's under there, so it's going to be... Let me stop filming for a minute. When did you get that thing? What? That Volkswagen thing. Oh, yeah, the... I have a car. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Here, I'll put a light so you can get it. Show from the ground. This thing is to the cement. There's a, pal there's a pallet back there. It's almost up to the ceiling on this side. <laughs> Crazy! Was that shit over there? I still have a quarter of it in my basement. There's still more. Oh, oops. <laughs> I should have zoomed in on that thing. Oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Take that out. We're gonna get bad. We will be in trouble for showing that. You know, I'm gonna grab something while I'm here. You know, what, what are those things that lady wants? Uh, Is that door open? Yeah. Is that Let's person see. sitting on the floor? Yeah, well, they're over there. Wonder what they're doing. Wanna go investigate? But that's nobody. That's the homeless guy. <laughs> Okay, uh, is that it? Okay. Yeah. And here's the family. Do you want to leave your tire over here? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll, I'll put it back. I'll reorganize this area. At least now I can get to the back at that stupid table and give you more room. Mine, sh the line should be right here. Yeah, it should be. It'll be all, all the way through. Let me get the table out of there and it'll all be fixed. I'd like to make this side my office. Okay, I will, I'll have it done for you by Christmas. <laughs> well, give me till like 31st. Here's your resume.